Today is like day 365 of the quarantine. It feels like we have been in lockdown for absolutely forever. But some people are still struggling to stay at home. Like, you see what's happening on the outside and all you want to do is just be on the outside and people are sneaking out to go to their barbers get their hair done get their nails done meet up with friends or whatever like despite what's happening and this video is for you if you feel like you know what this lockdown has been decided to hinder me from making progress in my life like why is this lockdown in place who do people think that they are coming to try and tell me to stay at home all I want to do is go out and enjoy myself um this video is definitely for you so um you know struggling struggling to stay at home because you want to be outside you want to smoke shisha you want to link up with friends you want to go to work even the people at work that you couldn't stand you miss them you just want to be in their presence right now. Anywhere seems better than home. The gym, I'm not going to lie, me and the gym, I'm very much struggling. I feel it because at home workouts do not make sense for me. I'm not, I haven't been doing them. I really, I, I try, but it's just not the same intensity. There's something about being in the gym, the aura, you know, the sound of, I, you, I even miss the sound of the machines. Like that whole, I can't wait for all of this to be over so that I can go to Asda and buy what I want to buy, how I want to buy it freely, um, to go to the gym, um, and just, just do certain other things, like, go to Starbucks, oh my gosh, I miss going to Starbucks as well, that would be my other thing, um, but yeah, like, I, I miss these things, and as much as I miss these things, I'm happy to, to be at home, staying at home is not an issue for me, it's like, okay, cool, whatever, like I said, day 357 of the lockdown, we're here, we're still in it, we're still meant to be at home, but a lot of people are struggling, so I'm just gonna get into, like, some of the questions that you need to ask yourself if you are struggling during this period, okay? So ask yourself, why do I want to be outside so bad? What is outside that is so important that you cannot be in your home? That is a very important question for you to ask yourself. Um, some of you are still risking your life despite the high numbers some of the highest numbers in the world we've got over here in the UK. Like the UK is actually out here embarrassing us and shaming us and th they wanna be like, we're Great Britain. Now, I think you man need to remove the greats because there's nothing great about this country anymore. Um, this country does not make sense. Um, why is it that I don't wanna be at home? Um, close your eyes, take a minute and be honest with yourself about it. And if you are struggling to find an answer, I'm gonna give you one and that answer um, is that you are running away from yourself. And that's a very harsh reality for lots of people to face. This time of being at home is allowing you to face your reality. You don't have outside distraction. You don't have work distraction. That is a big distraction, work slash school takes up so many hours of our day that it kind of hinders us from taking the time to sit down and analyze what's going on in our lives. Um, and then on the weekend, you go out with friends, Sunday, you spend your time recovering. Monday, you repeat and you do it all over again and you don't actually have to worry about or delve into the things that's actually going on with you. Um, and that's a really important thing that we all need to be able to do. It's easy to focus on absolutely everything other than yourself when you are distracted. But when you don't have those distractions anymore, all you are left to face with is yourself. Um, so, by no means am I trying to come for anybody. I'm just going to say it as, as it is through this video. So removing that distraction ultimately makes you face your reality. Number two, the outer world will never be right if you don't fix your inner, okay? If you don't fix what's going on here, you can rave and party all you like, you can mingle all you like, can smoke all you like, drink all you like, whatever, at the end of the smoking and the drinking and the whatever, you're going to be back facing yourself. So now is the time for you to fix what's going on here, what's going on here, what's going on like with you, period, point blank, period. And once you fix what is here, the outside world is gonna be sweet. Enjoyment will be, like you're gonna enjoy life in a way that is different. Because it's like, you know what? 
I'm not going outside because you know, I have to be outside or you're not going outside because you feel like outside is the only place that you can get enjoyment. Nah, do you know what? I fix myself and I have enjoyment within myself. And in, in addition to that, the cherry on the top is me going outside. So I think that that's something else that's really important. You can't chuck money at, well, there's a saying that I always used to say that you cannot chuck money at shit and expect the poo to go away. That's not how it works. You actually have to actively move the poo to one side and flush it down the toilet to get rid of it. So a lot of people chuck money at things. They chuck money at their problems thinking that their problems are going to go away. That's not how we eat. that's not how it works. You actually literally have to sit down and spend time with yourself in order to to get over whatever it is, the hurt that you're dealing with, the trauma that you're dealing with, the anxiety that you're dealing with, the depression that you're dealing with, um the the feeling of not feeling worthy, whatever it is, whatever emotions it is that you have, um you you have to face them head on and it's not an easy task to do, but when you do that, like I said, you will literally feel like a butterfly coming out of the cocoon. It's going to be a different experience because you're going to be living life ultimately to the fullest. Um, You know, stop running away from things. You're not alone in running away from things because so many people do it. But ultimately, if you choose not to fix what's going on with you, it's like running on a treadmill. You don't actually go anywhere. Even if you choose to run on a racing track, if you start at point A... When you run round, what do you do? You come right back to right back to, to point A. You don't actually run a race that is progressive. So please sit down, analyse what's going on with yourself. And from there, that's how you begin to make serious pro- progress progression in your life. Sorry, Ugh, tongue tied. Um, number three, the final point. Spend some time with yourself. You're not a bad person. Because listen, if you don't enjoy spending time with yourself, how do you expect other people to enjoy spending time with you? Let's be real. Let's be real. You should be your favourite person. You should have the Kanye West mentality. Like, can't nobody tell you anything in this life. I am the best person ever. Enjoy your company. When you enjoy your company and you're around other people, you'll know how to navigate yourself. Because you sit down around certain people and think, you know what, you people are not even worth my time. Let me just move away from you guys and let me go with the people that I need to be with that makes sense, you know? Give yourself that, give your, you deserve that. You deserve to, to, to allow yourself to be the best version of yourself that you want to be, literally. Um... What else did I write down? You know me, I'd I'd be writing down my notes. Ask yourself, who am I today? Because so many of us have a false perception of ourselves or, you know, there was a tainted perception of you once upon a time because so many people were out there saying negative things about you and you've you've ingrained that and you think that you are this bad person when actually you are an amazing person and the world deserves to see this amazing person and the only way that the world is going to see this amazing person is if you spend some time with yourself getting to know who this amazing person is and believe that this person exists and therefore present the world with that but if you don't spend time with yourself then you're just going to be giving the world a limited version of you come on stop like 2020 is still can still be the year that you wanted it to be the year of success and change and um accountability and all the things that you promised yourself on new year's eve don't throw them in the dustbin all the things that you promised yourself that were going to take place this year they can still happen this year um what else did i write equally sometimes some people think that their reputation is too big and that they can't live up to their reputation so you know you go out and so many people have labeled you as the party starter for example and you kind of feel like you know what like I have to live up to this um, perception of me you don't have to do that if that's not who you are you know you are who you are you tell the world who you are not other people um and if people want to fall in love with the old idea of you or be stuck with the old idea of you that is their personal problem um you know so in order to get to know yourself start off with acute 10 minutes each day don't tell me you don't have time because during this time there is time there is time upon time upon time 
10 minutes is is a small fraction of your day ultimately. So spend a small 10 minutes of the day dedicated to just your own time. Now this is not time that you're gonna spend like doing a manicure or doing a pedi or watching Netflix or whatever. That is not me time. Yes, it's me time, but it's not time alone with yourself. There will be zero distractions, literally. Um, And you're gonna completely shut the world out just sitting there in silence meditation helps for 10 minutes download the app go onto spotify do whatever it is that you need to do there's lots and lots of meditation things out there that will help you they will just kind of help you just to clear your mind that's all you need to do just help clear your mind because if it's something that you're not used to doing your mind will begin to wonder you're going to think of all these different thoughts and it's nice to kind of have guided meditation to help you to um teach you that your thoughts aren't bad things that they're things that can come and go and how to control them as well um so clearing your mental space is something that's important without any distractions journaling is great too it's a great way for you to like analyze what happened to you during the day um how you felt to document how you felt um your highs and your lows um and how you're going to start your next day um what else what else what else um in different um get into the habit of asking yourself questions during the day like when you're doing something ask yourself why you're doing it um you know it could be as i'm eating this food am i really hungry are you really hungry i don't know about you i feel like now like i'm kind of because i'm so over this quarantine thing like well let me not say over it like so used to this quarantine thing i don't really eat that much i can eat twice a day sometimes i've eaten like just once a day and i'm i'm fine um but yeah, get into the habit of asking yourself something. Um, and, ooh, sorry. Um, really being honest with your emotions. Because sometimes you ask yourself, okay, how are you feeling? You sit down and you say, I don't know. Because that's the cop out. And I'm guilty of doing that. But if you really sit down and you ask yourself enough questions, you will actually get to the bottom of how you feel. Um, so yeah, start there for now. 10 minutes for maybe week one next week you increase to 20 minutes i told you already we're still in lockdown so you have time the week after it can go up to 30 minutes and it doesn't have to be all in one chunk i would say the minimum that you should do is 10 minutes but maybe you could do 10 minutes in the morning 10 minutes at lunch 10 minutes before you go to bed um for the following week when you go on to 30 minutes um and everything in this life needs rest the best powered motor engine needs to relax factories relax everything the most efficient things in this life need to relax and you are one of those people so utilize this time to relax you don't know when you're going to get this time again all you people that are screaming i want to be on the outside i want to be on the outside don't come and complain when we have to go back to work Don't come and complain when the outside world comes to come and overwhelm us again. Hopefully by then we will not feel overwhelmed by the outside world because we've done so much work on ourselves and whatever. But I don't want to come and hear complaints from you guys because I I will remind you of what you said. So use this time, embrace this time to spend time with yourself and get to know who you are today, the new you. Um, You owe it to yourself to show the world who you are and to really step into who you are and be confident in who you are, not what other people, th- not the person that other people think you are or have told you who you are, because the world has a way of telling people who they are. Um, but yeah, get to know you and be confident in you so that when we immerse from this, yeah, people will be like, oh, you've changed. You're damn right I've changed. Life is too short for me to come and stay the same. If I'm giving you a new and improved me, you people should be happy that I've you know graced you guys with this new and improved me so yeah um guys please make sure you stay safe stay at home um i hope that your families are well your friends are well that you're keeping in contact with the people that you need to keep in contact with and make sure that you subscribe make sure that you like uh, make sure that you share and leave a comment down below if you haven't already take care until next time bye